Hello and welcome to my next tutorial about PrePOMEX. This time I will show you how to analyze chain links subjected to tension. Let's define unit system first and import the geometry in step file format. And the geometry is already imported. You can see that we use symmetry again uh, and the geometry was prepared in FreeCAD. Here's a single piece of the uh, model uh, that was prepared first and then uh, it the two pieces were assembled using uh, add-on module for uh, FreeCAD. Uh, and this model was exported to uh, PrePOMIX. Uh, now let's create a mesh. Uh, I will specify the meshing parameters for uh, both parts. Uh, and the uh, global maximum element size will be uh, 2 millimeters, and I will leave the rest uh, with default settings. Uh, and now we'll, I will also specify mesh refinements uh, since that's a contact problem and we want uh, local refinement around the contact area uh, for more accurate results. Uh, so let's specify um, size of 0 0.3 millimeters uh, and I will apply this mesh refinement to uh, this and this edge and this one right here uh, as well. Uh, and now I can create another mesh refinement with the same uh, setting and uh, this will be applied to um, equivalent edges but for this part we have to create separate refinements since those are uh, separate parts uh, so let's uh, add this edge uh, this one and uh, this one right here let's confirm this uh, and let's create the mesh for uh, both parts at once the mesh is already generated so we can proceed to the analysis setup as always, let's define material first, and uh, this will be steel, uh, just like in previous videos. I will specify Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. Uh, and I will also define a section. Uh, this will be a single section for both parts, uh, since they use the same material. Mm, and now I have to define contact. Uh, so let's create surface interaction first. This will be surface behavior with default hard contact setting. And now I could define contact pairs manually, uh, select uh, the appropriate faces. Uh, but in the newest version of PrePOMEX, there's a, a very convenient tool. Uh, you can see this here, search contact pairs, or uh, also uh, here, uh, search contact pairs. Uh, this tool automatically searches for contact pairs within the specified distance and angle. Uh, and we can switch between tie constraints and contact pairs. This, uh, in this case, I will switch to contact pairs. Uh, we can also group by parts, uh, and it will automatically apply uh, the interaction that we defined uh, previously. Uh, and I can also specify if I want a mesh adjustment or not. Uh, in this case, I will leave uh, I will leave this uh, disabled. So let's search for the contact pairs. As you can see, the software uh, found uh, appropriate contact pair. Uh, in this case, uh, there's a situation where we could easily uh, pick those uh, surfaces manually, uh, but there are often cases where there are many uh, co potential contact pairs and uh, the surfaces are hard to pick because they are covered by other parts. So we, we would have to hide uh, some parts and pick the surfaces, define the surfaces first, then use them for uh, contact pairs uh, definition. It would take a while uh, and this tool is very convenient uh, and notice that it's very uh, well implemented. Uh, so let's confirm this and uh, now we have contact pair defined uh, so i just have to define a new step uh, this will be static step with default settings mm, and uh, now i will uh, define boundary conditions mm, i will specify displacement boundary condition uh, this will be symmetry since uh, as you can see the part is symmetric uh, let's uh, disable mesh for now uh, and i will pick those two faces and constrain them in uh, the z direction uh, since that's a symmetry direction uh, and now we'll apply another uh, displacement boundary condition for these two faces and this will be in uh, y direction uh, and finally uh, the last boundary condition to fix this face uh, in uh, x direction now we have all the boundary conditions defined uh, and i can uh, define load this will be surface traction i will apply this to uh, the face right here uh, and it will be in x direction uh, the value is minus 200 newtons Let's confirm this and now the whole model is defined. We have the contact pairs, boundary conditions and loads. Uh, so I can submit the analysis and uh, of course it might take a while uh, since contact is using this analysis, uh, but we should have the results available soon. The results are available now, so let's check them. Here you can see the uh, fall miss stress plot, but let's switch to uh, stress in X direction to compare this with analytical solution. Uh, before we check the stress in this area, let's uh, switch to the sheet where I have the uh, analytical solution. Uh, and here uh, you can see that uh, 
the value that we expect uh, is uh, around 3000 uh, megapascals uh, and this solution is based on Hertz uh, contact problem mm, assuming two cylinders with perpendicular axis uh, this is just an assumption since uh, the actual chain lengths uh, are curved and they are not just straight cylinders mm, but uh, I had to make an assumption and you will see that the results are in quite good agreement other approaches used for uh, chain lengths are Lame problem uh, it's sometimes suggested in various books uh, or uh, curved beam theory uh, if you want to check the stress away from the contact area but in this case we are interested in the contact area stresses so uh, let's uh, use the solution from uh, Harris contact problem that we have here uh, let's compare this with the value um, that we obtained from the analysis and uh, as you can see and uh, there's a very good agreement at least for the uh, point of contact uh, of course we could refine the mesh around this uh, area, uh, apply further local refinement and you will get even closer to the analytical solution uh, but we are already very close so uh, it's really good for a, a such a approximation let's now uh, change the view uh, I will switch to mm, view without displaying mesh I will also change to full mist stress. I want to show you something uh, regarding the visualization itself. We want to mm, just uh, use uh, some tricks to make it look better. Uh, let's now adjust the legend. Mm, I will change the uh, maximum and minimum t limit type to manual and I will specify maximum value of 20 megapascals. It's already there so I don't just have to uh, apply it. Mm, and now we will be ab we will be able to uh, see uh, the stresses uh, apart away from the area of, uh, of contact mm, because uh, here uh, they were all, all focused in this area and now we have better view of the stresses in other regions let's do one more thing i will use the transformation in x y and uh, z axis uh, and now you will see uh, how the whole model looks like uh, without uh, just looking at the uh, symmetric part and that's the whole uh, piece uh, that you actually wanted to uh, analyze uh, that's just for the visualization purpose that's pretty much it for this pre-promax tutorial uh, thank you very much for your attention uh, as always feel free to ask any questions and suggest topics for future tutorials uh, see you uh, in the next video and have a nice day